Stop scrolling for a second, because if you're using a Samsung phone, you're seriously missing out on what it can actually do. So first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported the last video. We officially hit 300 likes, and I genuinely appreciate every single one of you. Today we're back with part three of the best Samsung good lock features, and this one takes customization and productivity to a whole new level. So these features don't just change how your phone looks, they completely change how you interact with it. So let's take things up a notch, see if we can push this video to 350 likes. If this video goes crazy, you already know part four is happening. So feature number one is where you can have the app symbol raining notification. So this feature turns a regular notification into a full visual experience. So instead of a boring pop-ups, whenever you receive a notification, the actual app icon rains down your screen. So this is combined with glowing edge of lighting that wraps around your display. So every app has its own unique effect, color and animation, making the notification instantly recognizable, even from a distance. So here you say, for example, if I get a notification from messages, I'll have the message app icons. If I get something from WhatsApp, I'll have the WhatsApp notification. So you can see the WhatsApp icons are raining down here. So with this notification animation, I can go ahead and just look at my phone from a distance and see that I have a notification from a certain app. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find the Edge Lighting Plus. Now go ahead and switch this feature on, then tap on Set Custom Style. And here you need to go ahead and set what kind of style you want. So say for example, a raining effect, a cloud effect, star, bubbles, snow effect. So there's all different types of styles that you can choose from. Let's go ahead and choose the snow effect here and let's just make it a bit larger so we can see what's exactly is happening. Next, I wanna go ahead and choose more. Now I'll go ahead and press done. Now, once that's done, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find this here, show app icon instead of custom style image. Make sure this is turned on. So this will change the style image to app icons of the notifications. So now that's done. Now go ahead and test it out. So here I'll go ahead and test out a WhatsApp notification and you'll see that the notifications of that app icon is now raining on your home screen. So like this, you can go ahead and customize this. So let's say for example, you want less icons. So you can go ahead and tap on advanced amount, change it to very few, and let's go ahead and just make it a bit smaller. Done. Now let's test it out again. And there you go. So we have a smaller icons now. So you instantly know which app sent the notification without unlocking. And you can also tell this by looking from far. It makes notification visually exciting instead of annoying. It adds a premium futuristic look to your phone. This is perfect for lock screen and always on display customization. And it makes your phone stand out from every other Samsung phone and iPhones. Feature number two is where you can create depth effect on your lock screen. So with the lock star, you can completely redesign your lock screen by adding a depth effect and placing widgets anywhere you want. So elements like the clock notification widgets can appear layered. So if you have this image, say for example, I can go ahead and lift this image and have this in front of the time. So it's like covering the time. So it basically gives you like a 3D style look. So you're no longer limited to Samsung's default layout. Everything is fully customizable. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first create the image. So here we'll use this image. We'll tap on three dots and we'll tap save as image. So it's here we have saved this as a PNG. Now let's go ahead and edit our lock screen. So let's say I wanna go ahead and add something here. So I'll tap on lock star, tap on app widget, go ahead and find the gallery widget, add that widget. Bring it down here. Let's go ahead and choose that image. So when we go ahead and look at our lock screen, you don't see that depth effect as you're seeing this rectangle block behind the subject. So let me show you how you can create the real depth effect on your lock screen. So for this, we need to go ahead and open the Play Store and we need to go ahead and find this app called Photo Widget Easy. So this is the app which you need to install on your 
device is completely free. Now once installed, you want to go back to your lock screen customization, tap on wallpaper and style, tap on your lock screen. Here we'll go ahead and delete this image. Now we'll tap on lock star, we'll tap on app widgets, and we'll go ahead and find that app called Photo Widget. Easy, tap on this. We'll use the four by four, add widget. Okay, tap on settings. We'll go ahead and add the widget. Now we'll go ahead and enlarge this. So as you can see, you've got no more black rectangle behind the subject. It's completely transparent. You press done. And now when we look at the background, you'll see that depth effect on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this makes your lock screen feel immersive and dynamic. This adds useful widgets like weather, battery, music, or calendar. You can access important info without unlocking your phone. It's clean, minimal, and advanced layout. Your choice, it makes your lock screen actually useful, not just pretty. Feature number three is where you can turn on fingerprint to open a website or an app. So this feature turns your fingerprint sensor into a powerful shortcut tool. So here, if I go ahead and use my thumb, this will unlock the device and we'll go to a website called download.com. If I go ahead and lock it again, and now this time I use my index finger, you'll see that it opens up my Alexa. So my thumb basically opens up a website and my index finger opens up a app. So using Routine Plus, you can assign different actions to different fingerprints, meaning one finger can open an app while another finger can instantly launch a website or a specific function. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and set your fingerprints. So go into settings, go into lock screen and AOD, go ahead and tap on lock screen and biometrics. Here, go ahead and enter in your pin number. Now tap on fingerprint. And now go ahead and check your fingerprints. So let's go ahead and use my pinky finger. So I'll go ahead and set this. I'll remove this for now. I'll go ahead and add my pinky finger. Now that's done. So I'll go press done. Now I'll go ahead and just rename this pinky. Now that's done, press home. Now you wanna go ahead and open up your good lock app. In the good lock app, scroll down and find routine plus. Now scroll down and find fingerprint to website. So now go ahead and set the if and then statement. So unlock with the fingerprint, we'll use our pinky finger. Now next you wanna go ahead and choose if you wanna go ahead and open up a website. If you wanna go ahead and open a website, go ahead and tap on this and enter in your web address. If you wanna open up an app, go ahead and tap on edit and then tap on the minus icon here, tap on plus sign and here find app. Open an app or do an app action. So now you can go ahead and choose from all the actions of the apps. So here, let's say, for example, you wanna go ahead and open up YouTube. So I can go ahead and open YouTube, go to Shorts, go to Search, or go to Subscription. So I'll just go ahead and open YouTube for now. Press Save, Done, and now that's been saved. So if I press Home, lock the device. Now use my pinky finger. You'll see that it unlocks it and then goes to YouTube. So this way you launch apps faster than tapping icons. It opens website instantly with one touch. It adds an extra layer of privacy and personalization. So this is perfect for productivity and multitasking. And this makes your fingerprint sensor more than just a lock. Feature number four is where you can have the glass icon effect. So the glass icon effect gives your app an icon a sleek, transparent, glass-like appearance. So icons blend beautifully with your wallpaper, creating a modern and a premium aesthetic that feels clean and minimal while still being eye-catchy. So as you can see, all of these icons have now have a glass icon theme on them. And you can go ahead and apply this completely free of charge on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let me show you how you can upgrade your home screen look. So for this, you need to first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now within the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Theme Park. Now here, tap on icons and go ahead and create a new icon. Now go ahead and tap on effects at the bottom and you'll see this new effects where it basically shows you the glass. So here you can go ahead and play around with the edge, you can play around the light and you can go ahead and play around with the angle which is your third one. So here you can go ahead and choose different colors. 
So say for example, blue, black, or white. Let's go ahead and choose blue. The trick here is to put down the transparency to something which is transparent, like a glass type. And as you can see, this gives you a transparent glass look. Go ahead and play around the edge, the lighting, the angle, and then go ahead and also play around with the shape. If you go ahead and change these shapes, all of the icons will have the glass effect on them. Now, once you're happy, tap save, give it a name, and then go ahead and find the one that you created, apply that, press home, and now your glass icons has been applied. As you can see, they give you the glass look. So this creates a clean and modern setup. The icon blends smoothly with your wallpapers. So this is perfect for minimalistic and aesthetic themes. It makes your phone look high-end and polished. Feature number five is where you can change the pointer for your S Pen. So Pentastic allows you to fully customize your S Pen pointer by changing its shape, color, visual effects. So whether you're taking notes, drawing, or presenting, you can make the pointer easier to see and more enjoyable. So as you can see, when I go ahead and hover over the screen, you'll see that my pointer is a round icon. So I can go ahead and change this to an arrow or something custom. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down, find Pentastic. Now here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Pointer. So by default, this is the pointer you get. How you can go ahead and make it to basic. You can change the size. You get heart. You get croco. You get Lisa, Bobby, and there's custom here. So here for the custom, you can go ahead and use something from your gallery or you can go ahead and use a sticker. So now once that's done, press home, and now your icon has been changed. So as you can see, this improves your visibility when writing or drawing. It gives you better precision on bright backgrounds. It adds personality to your S Pen experience. So this is great for student, artist, and professional. So this makes your S Pen feel truly personal. Feature number six is where you can create parallax wallpapers. So Wonderland lets you create stunning parallax wallpapers that move and shift as you tilt your phone. So you can add multiple layers, depth and motion effects, turning a simple wallpaper into an interactive experience. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and use this wallpaper and we'll go ahead and create a parallax wallpaper. So when we go ahead and move this phone left and right, you'll see that the road will start moving with this person as well moving slightly. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and take this picture first, go ahead and select the person, and we'll save this as a PNG. Now next, you wanna go ahead and edit this picture. So we wanna remove this person from this image. So we'll use Galaxy AI, delete it, and then generate. Now save that as a copy. Now that's done, we'll go ahead and now open up Good Lock. In the Good Lock apps, open up the Wonderland module, tap on create your own moving wallpaper, tap on the plus sign, and here we'll tap on gallery, we'll go ahead and select those images. So first is the background, which is this. Next, we'll go ahead and add an image. So we're gonna add the lady. Go ahead and increase the size. Now next, you wanna go ahead and add some motion. So select that person, tap on image settings, tap on apply motion effects. So just apply uh, just a slightly less. Let's just go ahead and preview this. So as you can see, it's moving. Now for the road, we're gonna go ahead and apply slightly more. So we just wanna apply the X movement here. There you go. So now that parallax wallpaper has been created, we'll press save, save again, and we'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper for our lock screen. So now when you go ahead and look at our lock screen, you'll see that 3D effect, the parallax effect. So this basically creates a 3D motion effect on your screen. It makes wallpaper feel alive and interactive. It's fully customizable, so the depth and the movement so every setup is unique to you as you can choose your own wallpaper. 
and this adds a wow factor every time you unlock your device. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can add a screen capture to your navigation bar. So this feature adds a dedicated screen capture or a screen recording button directly to your navigation bar. So instead of using this button combination like this or the swipe or going through the menu, you can go ahead and just capture the screen by pressing a button, which is right here. So let me show you how you can do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, scroll down and find Navstar. Now we'll switch this on and we'll tap on new configuration. So here, this is the current configuration. So we want to go ahead and add a screen capture button. So to do this, tap on button layout, add button. And here, these are all the buttons you can add. So you can add a camera, screen capture, screen off, internet, up, down, left, right, F4, F5, forward, volume up, volume down, page up and page down. So we want to add the screen capture, so we'll select that. And as you can see, it's been added. So we we'll press done, save it, scroll down, and then we'll find the one that we created, which is right here. Tap on this and then press home. So as you can see, now your navigation bar has changed. So you have a back, home, recent, and you have the screen capture. So you can go ahead and open up anything, tap on the screen capture, and that will take a screenshot automatically. Again, open anything, screen capture, and that takes a screenshot in one tap. So you have one tap screenshots and screen recordings, perfect for tutorials, reels, and content creation. So this is faster than your traditional button shortcuts. So it's extremely useful for creators and educators. This saves time and makes recording effortless. If you made it to the end, I truly appreciate you. Thanks again for helping us hit 300 likes. That support genuinely motivates me to keep creating more content like this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment because the more engagement this video gets, the more YouTube pushes it out to other Samsung users. Let's see if we can hit 350 likes on this one. And if this video goes crazy, you already know what's next. Part four is coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.